ProView Sports Network two-a-day coverage continues right here from the defending state champions in 5A. It's a St. Pius Sartans. Now, no Drew Ortiz, brand new coach, everything a little bit different here. A young team, but poised maybe for another run and a rebuild. I think we're looking good. Yeah, so far, still got to touch up a little bit. We're looking good right now. Just to motivate everybody to get better every day. Yeah, just try to do the best I can to lead my team to win this year. It was pretty cool. It was a good experience, yeah, to be on a team with a bunch of with a bunch of good kids and um I honestly don't see a difference. I think he he does a good job of keeping everything in order and and just maintaining the same process that Mendoza did. Feels amazing. I mean, being able to be out here and be able to do what we did last year. It's amazing being able to come out here and play football with my boys. So I love it. I love it. We all love it. As you get older from freshman to senior year, you start hating them less and less. And you're starting to enjoy it because like this is our last two days, so we gotta make it worth it. Oh no, we have a we changed up some of the offense, but a lot of it's the same. We still take a lot of the things that he coached us with, a lot of his coaching points, a lot of his everything that he he left for us. So Coach Sam Mendoza, even though he's not here, he's still our coach. Anything, anything that our boys can succeed, anything we want, any district, metro, state, anything that our boys can work for. We're young and we're getting there, but every year, you know, these first weeks are just a struggle to make sure the kids know what they're doing and, and uh, you know, making sure we install everything that we're going to run. So it's been good. We've had a, a really good past three days. Um, kids have been working really hard. We have a real good group of, uh, of seniors, and so it's, it's been going well. It's nice because the kids kind of know what they need to do, um, and it's, it, it, there's not a lot of mystery to what, what it takes to be successful. So uh, they're working really hard and, and uh, been doing a great job. Drew's a big loss for us, obviously. We have two sophomore kids that um, are very athletic, very talented, and they'll do a good job for us. But, you know, obviously they're not going to be Drew Ortiz. Um, and then defensively, just replacing, you know, the three linebackers we had on the inside, they were all very good players. Um, and we don't quite have that depth there. Um, so, you know, we're working hard there. We have some good kids, young kids coming up and some experienced kids um, kind of moving around to fill some of those slots. So they should be pretty, doing pretty good, but, uh, you know, it's not, it's not the same. They both played extensively, both offensively and defensively, and so they both have scored varsity touchdowns and taken varsity reps against varsity defenses and done very well. Um, so they're, they're experienced. Now the St. Pius Sartans are going to take on a lot of local Albuquerque Metro teams before they get into district play. Maybe Boleyn looming in front of them for that district championship. But their first game of the season, it's going to be at Nusenda Community Stadium against the Highland Hornets. It'll be right here on ProView Sports Network. Reporting for ProView Networks, I'm Adam Deal.